みなさん、こんにちは。Welcome back to 日本語。元気ですかこのビデオでは、レッスン42番の文法を紹介します。でも、その前に、レッスン41番の文法を復習しましょう。First, we've learned new words to express giving and receiving. For giving, we've learned words such as やりますす。差し上げます And for receiving, we've learned いただきます and くださいます。Next, we've also learned using these words in order to express giving or receiving actions. The pattern is nani nani te and then the words of receiving or giving. For example, if we want to say, I read a picture book to my son. We can say, 私は息子に絵本を読んでやりました or 読んであげました。Next, we've also learned how to express our request politely. And this is by using the てくださいませんか So, for example, if you want to say, I didn't hear it well. Can you kindly say it one more time? We can say, よく聞こえませんでしたが、もう一度くださいませんか And lastly, we've learned about the particle ni with a noun which express or say that that noun is、uh, used as a memory of or as a token of something. So, for example, if we want to say that Mr. Fernandez gave this plate as a wedding gift, Fernandez さんが結婚のお祝いにこのお皿をくださいました。はい。大丈夫ですか Before we begin, make sure to check out the vocabulary list for this lesson. If you find this video s helpful, please click like and subscribe. And you can also support this channel by becoming my patron through my Patreon page, which you will find in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get into our lesson for today. はい、それでは始めます。Here are the grammar points for today's lesson. Our first pattern is how to express our goal, aim, or things that we want to achieve. We've learned this before in lesson 36 by using nani nani yo ni. This time we will learn another way to express our goal by using nani nani tame ni. The first pattern, like I said, is using nani nani tame ni. To express our goal or aim. So, this basically means in order to do verb. So, the pattern is verb in its dictionary form followed by tamini. Again, the verb here is volitional or it expresses will. And then followed by the volitional sentence. So, for example, I'm saving money in order to have. My own shop. So the goal of the speaker here is to have his or her own shop. And in order to do that, he or she will save money. So let's form this sentence using the pattern tameni. So our verb here is to have or mochimas. Jibun no mise o motsu. So again, the dictionary form of mochimas is motsu, followed by tameni. Jibun no mise o motsu tameni. So here we have a volitional verb, followed by the action, which is to save money. Chokin shite imas. Jibun no mise o motsu tameni. In order to have my own shop, chokin shite imas. I'm saving money. Another example. I took a leave in order to attend Elizabeth's wedding. So the goal here is to be able or to attend Elizabeth's wedding. And the action to do that is to take a leave or took a leave. So this is in the past. So let's form the sentence. Attend is demas. Elizabeth san no kekon shiki ni deru. So demas becomes deru, followed by Tameni. Elizabeth san no kekon shiki ni deru tameni. In order to attend Elizabeth's wedding, I took a leave. Yasumi o torimashita. 
エリザベスさんの結婚式に出るために休みを取りました。I will study law in order to become a lawyer. So the goal is to become a lawyer. Our verb is to become or なります。Lawyer is 弁護士。弁護士になる。So we learn this, nani nani ni narimas, to become something. Bengoshi ni naru, narimas, becomes naru in its dictionary form, followed by tame ni. Bengoshi ni naru tame ni, I will study law. Law is horitsu. Horitsu o benkyo suru tsumori desu. Bengoshi ni naru tame ni, horitsu o benkyo suru tsumori desu. Next example, I'm thinking of quitting my work to enter grad school. Our verb is to enter, which is 入ります大学院に大学院 means grad school. So, 大学院に入ります becomes 入る大学院に入るために to enter or in order to enter grad school. 会社を辞めようと思っています。大学院に入るために会社を辞めようと思っています。We can also use this pattern with a noun. So, for nouns, we add の followed by ために。noun のために。So, for, so no means for. For the sake of or for the benefit of noun. Now, no tamini, and then volitional sentence. For example, for the sake of my job or for my job, I'm taking Japanese lessons every week or once a week. So, we are doing the action for the benefit of the noun job. So, using the pattern, we say, Shigoto no tamini, my shu nihongo o narate imas. Shigoto no tamini, 毎週日本語を習っています。Another example, I'm going to study in America for or for the sake of or for the benefit of learning international issues or international issues studies. International issues studies is 国際国際 is international 問題 problems の研究 so studies. 国際問題の研究のためにアメリカへ留学します。国際問題の研究のためにアメリカへ留学します。I will buy an electronic dictionary for my Japanese studies. 日本語の勉強のために電子辞書を買うつもりです。日本語の勉強のために電子辞書を買うつもりです。I have to save a lot for my children's education. 子供の教育子供 is children or child. 教育 means education. 子供の教育のために I have to save a lot. たくさん貯金しなければなりません。子供の教育のためにたくさん貯金しなければなりません。So, like I said, we've already learned other expressions that expresses our goal or our aim, which is 何々ように。Okay, so remember that there are differences between the two. So, the main difference is that for ために the verb must be Volitional. While for yoni, the verb must be non volitional or potential verbs. So again, volition or volitional verbs means that it expresses will or wish. Non volition means that the action is beyond the speaker's control. So let's compare two sentences using tameni and yoni. So first one is I am saving money in order to have my own shop. So we use this in the example above. So let's use this one more time.、So、again, the verb is to have mochimas. 自分の店を持つために貯金しています We can also say this 
using yoni, but we have to change the verb in its non-volitional form. I am saving money, so hopefully I am able to have my own shop. So here, I am able to have um, means that it expresses um, state. So this is beyond the speaker's control. So he or she will do something and hopefully this thing will happen. So that's the main difference between the two. Jibun no mise wo. So to have or be able to have, we will change this to its potential form. Do you remember how to make potential form from a normal verb? So mochimas becomes moteru. So the chi syllable becomes te. Moteru yo ni chokin shiteimasu. Jibun no mise wo moteru yo ni chokin shiteimasu. So the first one, the goal is to have a shop. So it shows that the speaker is more determined or he or she will definitely do this action. While the other one shows that uh, by doing this action, saving money, hopefully he or she will be able to achieve having his or her own shop. Another example, I study every day in order to speak well in Japanese. Our verb is to speak, hanashimas. Nihongo de jōzu ni. So, nihongo de in Japanese, jōzu ni, well. Nihongo de jōzu ni hanasu, speak. Tame ni, nihongo de jōzu ni hanasu tame ni. In order to speak well in Japanese, mai nichi benkyo shiteimas. I study every day. Nihongo de jōzu ni hanasu tame ni. On the other hand, if we want to use yoni, we can say, I study every day, so hopefully I can speak well in Japanese. Nihongo de jōzu ni, the verb hanashimas becomes hanaseru. Hanaseru is the potential form of hanashimas, so we change shi to se. Hanaseru, so hanasemas. Dictionary form is hanaseru, followed by yoni. Nihongo de jōzu ni hanaseru yoni mainichi benkyō shiteimasu. So the verb narimas or to become can be considered as volitional or non-volitional. So it can either be of the two. So you can use it with both tameni and yoni. So for example, I study law in order to become a lawyer. 弁護士になるために法律を勉強しています。This shows that the speaker has a stronger will or is more determined to reach this goal and is almost certain that this will happen. On the other hand, I study law so hopefully I will become a lawyer. So here you can see that um, it is not as determined as the previous one or the tamini. So here the speaker is just wishing for something to happen. Like I said, the speaker is being hopeful or wishing that this will happen. So let's summarize the differences between tamini versus yoni. The first one is that tameni can be used with nouns, while yoni cannot be used with nouns. So for example, shigoto no tameni maishu nihongo wo naratte imasu. We cannot say this in yoni. Another example is that tameni uses volitional verbs. Volition expresses will. For example, jibun no mise wo motsu tameni chokin shite imasu. On the other hand, yoni uses non-volitional verbs, meaning beyond the speaker's control. It also uses potential verbs and stative verbs. Stative verbs are verbs that expresses state. For example, wakarimasu. Wakarimasu is to understand. Kikoemasu is to hear. Miemasu is to see. So for example, for non-volitional verbs, for it to arrive, 
I will use special delivery. Or I will send it using special delivery. Uh, for potential verbs, 自分 no mise wo moteru. So again, tsu become te. Moteru yo ni chokin shteimas. And for stative verbs, mieru yo ni so that I can see mai ni suwarimas. I will sit in front. Another main difference is that tameni cannot be used with negatives, while yoni can be used with negatives. So, for example, wasure mas. So, we want to say wasure nai, not to forget. Wasure nai yoni memoshimas. Wasure nai yoni memoshimas. And lastly, when you use tameni, the speaker expresses strong will or determination. As if the goal is definite or almost sure to happen. While in using yoni, the speaker expresses hope that he or she will reach the goal by doing certain action. Hi, it's quiz time! Please choose the correct answer. Kotayo erandi kodasai. Kanji o nani nani tame ni taksan hon o yomimas. Kotayo erandi kodasai. Ichiban obo. 2番覚えます。3番覚えた。答えは何でしょう?正解は3番です。Next pattern is again using particle ni to express a purpose for something. So here we will nominalize the verb which we've learned in lesson 38. So do you remember? So we changed the verb it into its dictionary form, add no, to make it into a noun. So here, we can use this pattern using the nominalized form of the verb or a noun. So the pattern is verb in its dictionary form, followed by no. Again, to nominalize the verb, we change it to dictionary form, and then we add no. Nominalize meaning to make it into a noun. So we attach ni to that, and then it is usually followed by words such as skaimas to use. Yako ni tachimas, be useful. Jikan ga kakarimas, take time. I des, good. Benri des, uh, convenient, hitsuyo des, necessary or required. For the purpose of verb. For example, the kettle is used for or for the purpose of boiling water. The verb is to boil or boiling. Change it into a noun. So the verb is wakashimas. So the topic is the kettle. So we say yakan. Yakan wa the kettle oyu. Hot water. O boiling or to boil is wakashimas. Change it to dictionary form, which is wakasu. Yakan wa oyu o wakasu no. Ni skaimas is used. Yakan wa oyu wo wakasu no ni. For the purpose of boiling water, we use the kettle. Yakan wa oyu wo wakasu no ni skaimas. Next example, the thermometer is convenient for taking the temperature. So the verb is to take or to measure, which is hakarimas. So first, let's say the purpose for taking the temperature. So the topic is the thermometer. So we say, Taiyon K thermometer wa Taiyon wo the temperature hakaru to take. Taiyon K wa Taiyon no hakaru no ni for the purpose of taking the temperature is convenient. Benri desu. The Japanese wrapping cloth is useful to wrap things up. So the verb is tsutsumimas. So the purpose is to wrap things. Furoshiki wa, or the Japanese wrapping cloth, Furoshiki wa mono wo tsutsumu no ni yaku ni tachimas is useful. Furoshiki wa, the Japanese wrapping cloth, mono o tsutsumo no ni, for the purpose of wrapping things up, yaku ni tachimas is useful. 
風呂敷は物を包むのに役に立ちます。It takes time to calculate with an abacus. Calculate is 計算します。Abacus is そろばん。そろばんは計算するのに For the purpose of calculating, the abacus is It takes time. 時間がかかります。そろばんは計算するのに時間がかかります。We can also use just plain noun followed by に which also means for the purpose of noun. For example,、uh, the question The big supermarket has been built, huh? Or has been finished? 大きいスーパーができましたね。Yeah, it's convenient for shopping. A. 買い物に is convenient. 便利です。ええ、買い物に便利です。Another example. This coat is thin and light. このコートは薄くて軽いですね。Yeah, it's convenient for traveling. ええ、旅行に便利です。ええ、旅行に便利です。はい、質問、答えを選んでください。何々は書類を整理するのに使います。1番、線抜き。2番、缶切り。3番、風呂敷。4番、ファイル。答えは何でしょう正解は4番です。Now let's review one more time the expressions that we've learned for expressing、uh, purpose or goals or aim. So the first one is from lesson 13, which is verb remove mas followed by ni, and then the verbs ikimas to go, kimas to come, or kairimas to go home. So meaning、uh, go to do verb. So for example, America e Ben kyo ni. So instead of saying ben kyo shimas, we remove the mas. Ben kyo ni ikimas. America, ben kyo ni ikimas. I'm going to America to study. So the purpose is to study. Another one is from lesson 36, which is ryo ni. Again, it uses non volitional verb in its dictionary form. Followed by yoni. It can also be used with negative s verb or verb in nai form. For example, todoku yoni sokotatsu de dashimas. Hopefully, for it to arrive, I will send it via special delivery. And for this lesson, we've learned tameni, volitional verb in dictionary form or noun no, followed by tameni. And then the volitional sentence. For example, Daigaku ni hairu tami ni kaisha o yame yo to omotte imas. In order for me to enter grad school, I am thinking of quitting my job. And lastly, the expression to express the purpose. So, verb dictionary form no or noun. Followed by ni, and then the verbs skaimas, yakunitachimas, tikanga kakarimas, i des, itsuyo des, or benri des. For example, yakan wa oyu o wakasu no ni skaimas. Kettle is used for the purpose of boiling water. So our next grammar point is using the particle wa with a quantifier. So when we attach wa after a quantifier, we are saying that this is the Least amount required or necessary for something. For example, at least 40 million yen is required to build the house. The pattern is quantifier followed by wa. Uchi o dateru no ni. So here we will、uh, state the purpose first. So to build the house. Uchi o dateru no ni for the purpose of building a house. 4000万円。四千、so 4000万円は必要です。is required。meaning at least 
40 million yen is required for the purpose of building a house. Uchi o tateru no ni 4,000 man yen wa hitsuyo desu. It takes at least three years to learn 2,000 kanji. So, normally, a normal person would memorize 2,000 kanji in order to be able to read the newspaper. So, the purpose first is to learn 2,000 kanji. So, we say, Kanji o 2,000 oboeru no ni. So, for the purpose of uh, memorizing 2,000 kanji. It takes at least three years. San nen wa kakarimasu. Kakarimasu means to take time. San nen wa kakarimasu. It costs at least 200,000 yen a month to live alone in Tokyo. So the purpose is to live alone in Tokyo. So we say, Tokyo de hitori de. So alone. Seikatsu suru no ni. So, kseikatsu means to live. No ni, for the purpose of living in Tokyo alone. Tsuki ni, every month or a month, it costs at least 200,000 yen. So, quantifier is, niju man yen wa kos, irimas, or is needed. Tokyo de hitori de seikatsu suru no ni, tsuki ni, niju man yen wa and our last grammar point is the particle mo. Also, this can be used with a quantifier. But this time when we attach mo after a quantifier, we are saying that it takes as much as this amount for something. So let's take a look at some examples. Does it take as much as 40 million yen to build a house? Uchi o dateru no ni. 4,000 yen mo hitsuyo desu ka? Or is necessary? Uchi o tateru no ni 4,000 yen mo hitsuyo desu ka? Does it take as long as 3 years to learn 2,000 kanji? Kanji o 2,000 oboeru no ni 3 nen mo kakarimasu ka? Kanji o 2,000 oboeru no ni 3 nen mo kakarimasu ka? And last, it costs as much as 200,000 yen a month to live alone in Tokyo. Tokyo de hitori de seikatsu suru no ni tsuki ni 20,000 yen mo irimasu. Tokyo de hitori de seikatsu suru no ni tsuki ni 20,000 yen mo irimasu. It's time for our last question. Kotayo erande kodasai. Hikkoshi no nimotsu o hakobu nani nani? Oki kuruma o karimashita. Ichiban. Yoni. Niban. Dame ni. Kotai wa nan desho? Kotai wa niban desu. Hai, ijo desu. Kyo no lesson wa dou desu ka? Moshi sumon ka komento ga attara, shita ni zei kaite kudasai ne. Please take care everyone. I will see you in the next one. Mata ne!